Hi there, it's going to be a slightly shorter video today. Uh, the reason being, we've kind of been racing around trying to get the kids ready for uh, the new school term. Um, so really we've been buying school clothes and um, trying to get them ready, which doesn't make the most exciting of viewing. Uh, but there's still a few things I do want to discuss. And I thought as it was a short video, there's something else I've been meaning to try out for ages, and that's trying to up the quality on my camera. Now, I normally shoot in 1080, that seems to produce pretty good video and I've been very happy with it. But obviously it's always nice to do something a little bit better and make it a bit crisper. Shooting in 4K I think might overstretch things a bit, just from practicality really. Uh, size of the memory card, not sure if my computer will be able to process it particularly quickly when it comes to certainly video editing uh, and then obviously uploading. So I'm going to try something in the middle, um, it's 2.7K at 30 frames per second if you're interested in that kind of thing. Uh, still on my GoPro, so I'm gonna give it a go, see if it works today. Uh, if it does, brilliant, we'll stick with that. If it doesn't, then we'll revert to the 1080 and I'll maybe try 4K at some point. So that's today. Let me um, talk to you about the first topic then. So what I was thinking about this week was how people pick up on negative points to do with EVs. Now, you've probably picked up if you've watched a lot of my vi videos, I'm generally quite positive about things. I like to sort of see the good in, in things and hope that it makes the future better. Uh, a lot of people like things as, as they are and um, aren't keen to see things change. So you find people looking for the negative points and points things and sometimes that's just to be belligerent. Sometimes it's because uh, they genuinely feel that there's a negative thing to say and if it doesn't get put out in the open then um, it will never get addressed. Whatever the reasons, it doesn't matter. The main thing that I've been hearing an awful lot of, this stems right from the start of us owning EVs, is the noise. The noise that an EV makes, um, and probably more accurately, the lack of noise. Now, they've all got their own kind of whistle background sound that kind of generates to hopefully allow pedestrians to hear them moving around at low speed. The kind of naysayers, if you like, will always say, yeah, but people can never hear an EV. They're just gonna, you're gonna be running people over all the time. Well, my experience is I haven't run anyone over. Now, touch wood, I never do. But, do you know, ice cars run people over. People say they don't hear the petrol engines. Most of the noise generated from a car actually comes from wind and tire noise anyway. So, you know, at speed, it doesn't make any difference really. It's those kind of low speed, low impact kind of collisions. Well, certainly I, as a responsible driver, will drive my car around a car park or a, uh, you know, a local neighborhood slowly. I don't generally have the sound turned on because it, it annoys me, especially in the summer when you've got your window down. But I take a, just take account of that. I understand that my car is particularly quiet at low speed and if I see people moving about, or if I'm in an area where there's likely to be people moving about, then I slow down. I look at that area. I make sure that there aren't people running around. Uh, I drive within the capabilities of the car, um, and obviously within my own capabilities. So, you know, I haven't heard mass reports about EVs mowing people down all over the place. Every Sainsbury's car park is full of scattered bodies because EVs have just driven through and run everyone over. It doesn't happen and it isn't going to happen because people are responsible drivers. That's my kind of my bugbear at the moment if you like about people saying negative things about EVs. So let's flip that and look at it from the point of view that I've been looking at it and very much comes from probably the rural setting that I live in and I drive around. And also it hit home for me when we were on holiday in North Devon a week or so ago. How much better will little towns and villages be when all the cars are quiet like EVs? There were several towns and villages I drove through while we were on holiday, which uh, as I was driving through, I thought oh, I'd, I'd turn my sound off because I could hear it echoing off the walls um, I had my window down, it didn't sound very nice. But then I realised there's a Transit Connect in front of me at one point and a Volkswagen Passat behind. And all I could hear was their engines roaring away. And it did get me to thinking, well, 
if they were in EVs as well, and all the traffic coming through here were in EVs, wouldn't this be a lovely, quiet little town or village? And you know, how is that going to change people's lives when we get to this kind of place where all the cars are quiet? You know, how often do you watch something, you know, like one of these programs on the telly where they go around and they look at different houses that they want to buy and they stood in the garden and they say, oh, it's a lovely house apart from you can hear the road. Well, that house would be a lovely house, full stop. That would be it. There'd be no road noise, at low speeds. You don't have to worry about the tyre noise. It just becomes a nice, pleasant environment to live in. So there, that's my sort of take on the noise. I see it as a positive thing. Let's not have any noise in them and let's just continue driving like decent, responsible drivers. Well, this has worked out very nicely. Uh, while I was talking to you before, I got a message from Sarah saying her mum's now going to cook dinner for us. So that saves me a job tonight and gives me a leisurely stroll in which I can talk about the other mini topic that I wanted to talk to you about, and that is the mini. Uh, they've released some pictures today that show the full EV mini, and I have to say it was really nice. Now, not necessarily a car for me, a bit like the VW, the, sorry, a bit like the camper van. Not for me but I appreciate how good that looks. But the looks aren't why I'm getting excited about it. The reason I'm excited about it is because this is yet another really, really popular, really recognisable car that people buy in the masses and you see them all over the road. And this is what we need and I've said it time and time again, we need people buying these sorts of cars uh, and just seeing them and just having them out there to get more and more people interested in EVs. So this can only be a good thing. And that pretty much sums up today's mini vlog. So if you've enjoyed it, remember to uh, like and share. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you soon, bye.